Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us here in Vancouver, BC. We are really, really excited to be here and we're really excited to have you here with us. Launching a uh, luxury brand is not an everyday occurrence. It's a, a little bit of a historic occasion. It's uh, For many of us, it feels like a once in a lifetime opportunity because you don't launch luxury brands every day. Um, we are the second luxury brand to be launched this century. We are the sixth luxury brand to be launched since 1970. So we didn't wake up one day and decide that we wanted to launch Genesis. This is something we've been thinking about for over a decade in the United States. We've been planning it. We've been trying to figure out when we're ready, when, when all the stars align. And so we're just really excited that we're right in the middle of the launch. And we're really excited that you're here to share that with us. Um, I think it's also important to understand that Genesis is not just an offshoot of Hyundai Motor America. Genesis was formed as an in separate and independent company. We're starting a new company. We're not launching a new brand, we're starting a new company. And we're funding this in exactly that way. It's really important to understand that we need, we can't use the same resources we have for Hyundai for Genesis and expect to succeed. So for us, when we started out, we said we need incremental resources in the form of people. And you're going to hear from a lot of those people, and you're going to hear about a lot of those people today, both in the United States and in Seoul, Korea. We have a tremendous amount of incremental resources coming on board, a lot of talent coming on board. We have a lot of people fully dedicated 100% of their time to the Genesis brand in uh, the USA, so that's very exciting. Uh, the R&D resources that we've got are so exciting. We have a lot of... Uh, a lot of product coming, a lot of work is being done on Genesis. But it's also important to note that we can't launch this brand and we can't grow with Genesis without in investing incremental resources in how we launch this. And Kate's gonna be talking to you about that um, um, later today. So we've got people and we've got R&D and we've got marketing resources. So this is really important to us and we're gonna do it right. Um, in a few minutes, uh, Urban Raphael, who is the general manager of the Genesis brand here in the United States, is going to come up to you, and he's basically going to talk to you about the, the what's of Genesis, if you will. Um, what is Genesis all about? What are your goals and hopes and aspirations for Genesis? And that's really important questions and, and really important discussion to have, and he's going to take you there. And then he's going to turn it over to Kate uh, Fabian, and Kate is the marketing manager, and Kate's going to talk about the hows of Genesis. How are you going to launch this vehicle? How in the world are you going to differentiate it from the really, really tough and well-established competitors in that segment? Again, really good questions, and we're going to have a really good conversation about that. And then Kate's going to turn it over to Yuval Steinman, and Yuval is the expert on G90. We're going to talk specifically about G90, and he's going to immerse you in the nuts and bolts of that product, and it's really important. You're going to spend all day with it tomorrow. You're going to go 250 plus miles in that vehicle, and it's important you understand the vehicle because it tells you how deep our commitment is to the Genesis brand, and it really gives you a good feeling for a future direction on brand coming down the road. So very, very important transitions. But I think it's important to note, we talk, before we talk about the hows, before we talk about the whats, that I talk a little bit about the whys, because quite honestly, I, in a lot of the uh, places I go, the first question that I ask is, hey, why are you launching a, a luxury brand, and why are you doing it now? Isn't there other things you should be doing? And the answer to that is, is, is we didn't wake up one morning and decide we're going to launch a luxury brand in the United States. We had this conversation a decade ago. We had this conversation long before we ever sold our first Genesis in this marketplace. And we were waiting to figure out the right time and the right circumstances and the perfect alignment of the stars before we brought this, before we brought this vehicle in. We are at that time. We think right now that we have the winning formula to launch this vehicle. We think we've, we've, we've paid our dues and the time is right and we have a perfect combination of dedicated platforms which takes a tremendous amount of um, investment there and, and, and really, really unique and differentiated products and we're going to come to market blending the whole idea of product and experience with some really, really great and exemplary customer services. Okay? That combination is something we don't think exists right now, and it's what's going to differentiate in the marketplace and makes this really good timing for us. Um, the second thing that's really important about launching Genesis in the United States is the luxury market itself. The luxury market is big, 
and it's growing. In fact, it's grown for seven consecutive years. And right now, the, the luxury market is, um, as a percentage of the total industry, is at its highest point ever. And we don't think that growth is going to uh, stop anytime soon. And we don't think luxury as a percent of the total market is going to get smaller. And we want to be a part of that growth. And we think Genesis positions us extremely well in the United States market for sustained growth for Genesis and also for the Hyundai Motor Group in this market. So luxury is really important. And the real players, the real global players, um, conquest the luxury market. And that's where we're at. And we feel really good about our timing. Um, the last point in terms of why we're entering this is that we think we paid our dues. We've been doing this for seven years. It's been seven years since the first Genesis was, was North American Car of the Year. And in that time, we've grown amazingly quickly. We're no longer a newcomer. We're somewhat established, certainly not in the standards of BMW or Mercedes, but we're more established. We're not a new kid on the block. And it's surprising to many whenever we have this conversation to say that the second largest retail car in the mid-sized luxury segment is the Hyundai Genesis. We surpassed the, surpassed the BMW 5 Series this year, and we're right on the heels of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. So that's not a new kid on the block. That's somebody that knows how to attract uh, new luxury customers, and more importantly, we know how to retain them. We have number, we're number one in the segment in terms of customer loyalty. So we've learned some things. Like I said, we're not new here. We're fairly well established. We've made some mistakes in the last seven years. We've learned from those mistakes, and now we're at a point where we're ready to expand. We're gonna take a couple of models that we sold under the Hyundai uh, logo, and we're going to launch them as a brand unto itself. And it's not gonna happen right away. It's gonna happen over time, and we're gonna be patient with this. We're gonna do it the right way, and we feel really strongly that this is the time to really differentiate ourselves in the marketplace, and we're really excited to tell you that story here this evening. So before I turn it over to Urban, who's going to take you through the what's, um, I'd like to make a couple introductions. And over here on my left, I talked about um, R&D. And we have with us all the way from, all of you had long trips. Nobody had a longer trip than Mr. Wong, who came from Seoul, Korea. He is a senior vice president of R&D. And he runs our global Genesis Project Management Center. He runs all the R&D activity. And I can assure you, we've looked at the current product we have now, the new G80 coming out, uh, the new G90 that you're going to experience tomorrow. But down the road, and Irvin's going to talk about that, there's so much product activity going on, it, it's really mind-boggling. And he's got his arms around it, and we're really excited about it. And lastly, I'd like to introduce Mr. Harry Hahn. Harry is uh, my friend and my partner. He's the chief executive coordinator for Hyundai Motor America. And everything that we get done here in the United States has to be done through Harry. Harry is the, the, the connection between uh, myself and our executive team and HMC, and he does a great job at it. So thank you both for your time and your commitment to being here. And thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. We know it's tough to get here, and we're going to make it worth your while. I guarantee you that. <laughs>